guide, let's talk about free actions and no action situations that are common to both PCs and NPCs. It doesn't matter who you are, anybody can do this stuff. And the way we'll do that is we will go to that menu on our tokens. We have Vanny selected and we'll go common free no. And we see a bunch of options here. A lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory and a lot of it we've actually seen in prior videos so we won't go through them again. Uh, fall is important and as you remember if you are prone the number of cubes to ground prompt will pop up on your screen automatically as it was using send macro the guy that proning that is proning you use send macro to send you this macro the fall macro now find skill lead is kind of useless on vanny because what that does is it finds the highest score in your party for a particular skill and he's only a party of one so it doesn't really make sense in that context but if we cancel this and we go to one of the skeletons and run that it's actually still meaningless because they're both the same monster type so they are going both going to have the same bluff score for example but you know what let's run it anyway just for illustration purposes we'll select bluff say okay and first it asks the runner of the macro you know what why don't you do a bluff check see how well you do so we'll say okay there and it does a bluff check and we get some output here it says bony guy red has the highest bluff score which is actually not true it's equal to bony guy blue but it went through everybody and that was the end result so no harm there it gives us the same thing for both so we're okay with that so let's try again and hand out to chat let's see what happens when we do that say okay and we get a handout now by the way the handout to chat name was done back in the days when all it would do is put this picture in the chat window as you can see we now have our own little frame here where it displays the picture of the monster in question and of course that is contact sensitive again if you didn't put a portrait on that token you are not going to get the handout to chat option in the common free no menu now hit uh this is actually just a funny little information only remember how i said this framework has humor in it well let's see what the humor as you see what the joke is here uh if you get hit you can run this macro and uh, make a funny saying right here it says i'm hit and this was my favorite shirt too my brother wrote this macro way back in the day and we kept it around for posterity's sake so you can set that as a hit trigger if you want to in fact we'll do that in the power management video we'll do it as a reaction hit so we'll, uh, looking forward to that and live handout same as handout to chat except it'll go to the library token here his library token and do that portrait you can do a different portrait on the library token if you want to you can do it of a skeleton dying of him getting his uh, skull chopped off so that would be cool so because the dead trigger is usually set to live handout mass skill check lock uh this is probably easier to explain in the skill challenge video but i'll explain it here too why not what this does is it forces a particular set of tokens a side the npcs or the pcs to direct their skill check macro run to a particular token instead of just ad hoc on themselves or to a token that we select with the osp and we'll see that in action like so if i wanted uh, everybody to do a skill check on this skill challenge token over here i would click on the skill challenge token and run mass skill check lock and then everybody on a particular side would automatically do their skill check on that token without needing to run the osp so miss and of course this is another just uh, another funny saying at random there's four in each of those 
and opportunity attack, we have already seen a pose check is we've actually seen that too behind the scenes. Remember when Red was trying to grab Vanny? That's run by the grab macro behind the scenes. And we oppose Vanny's check. And if we win, which we did because we put in that high number, then he gets grabbed. Uh, but you can run it manually too if you want to. Override damage type, let's actually see what that's about. Okay. What this is asking is, do you want to switch all your damage to a particular keyword type? So it gives us a list and you can actually select multiples. Uh, like for example, say you have um, a powerful staff which does force and lightning damage. That might be cool. Let's say the evil necromancer that is controlling this skeleton uh, casts a powerful spell and says let thine sword now be force and lightning damage only so we can actually say okay oh by the way i should actually point out this notice silver is here in uh, two uh that's actually not an official damage type as defined by the game the reason that's in there is to stop lycanthropes regenerating it uses the this damage type mechanic to do that and then there's the attack type damages too which it can also do say okay and it asks for a duration and we've set it to sustain so at the every time he runs end my turn it's going to ask well do you still need this override damage type effect on you and you can say no um, so we can say range zero because it's going to be on himself and it actually creates the effect for us now it actually didn't register it because we don't have effect registration on but if we were to attack with this guy after he's got that effect on him he will do force and lightning damage as stipulated here in the effect configuration Rumbly Val. This is a big one. Rumbly Val is one of the cornerstones of the framework. You're using it all the time, but you don't know you're using it. Remember the attack macro and the damage macro where it gives you all those bonuses? It says you're attacking, your d20 roll is at the top in the first box, and then you have your half level, your strength, your enhancement, all that good stuff. And for damage, you know, you have your gen dam mod and inherent damage, all that good stuff. Inherent damage is rarely used, but anyway, uh, this is the guy that's doing that. What the attack macro does is it goes up to Rumbly Val and says, hey, listen, I need to ask that user out there for an attack roll, and I need to show him all his bonuses. Rumbly Val does that. Now, because we're running it ad hoc here in its base form without any attack macro or damage macro or you know anything like that running it it's going to assume that we're just doing a simple saving throw so we'll say okay if the skeleton had gen save mod set to two for example we will see that there but he doesn't it's set to zero so it's not shown and that's not good but it's see how it says ad hoc save so we'll say okay and we get something back in the chat a little table there that says you got the roll but we didn't have any bonus there skill check we have seen plenty of times so won't belabor that point and surprised so let's say the guy is surprised for some reason we'll say okay and we get the ca state and the surprise state and the overlay at the top saying he got surprised notice how the duration is set to round so it will end on the current round which is meaningless because we're not in combat right now now there are other things that you can do as shown in this article like if you have an aura then you will see this in the menu but because of the context sensitivity and he doesn't have an aura we don't see that but for something like a dragon or something which we will see later on 
in the gold dragon demo yes you will have that option get grabbers you, we don't see because nobody's grabbing us for Vanny in the earlier video in the uh, in that actions in combat video if we went to Vanny and we clicked on his common free no we would have this option there and uh, we can run it and it would have said yes um, bony guy red is grabbing you MK checks we've already seen this that was back in the encounter demo when we did a check on the skeletons to see if we could find out about their powers and stuff and speak this is very cool the reason we didn't see this in the menu is because skeletons don't speak so it's smart enough the importer is smart enough not to give you a quick button for speak because they don't have any languages so we can actually use that if we have languages so if we were to click on Vanny and do go to his common free no we know he has languages defined look at that he has speak so if we say okay there we can actually my players actually really like this feature for example and it's useful because not only can you say something and uh, say hello uh, my name is Vanny you can put a range if you only want to whisper to the guy next to you put a range of one square but if you want to yell it so the rooftops can hear well put 10 squares it's up to you and you can do it in a different language if you want to if you only want to do it to a bunch of elves so the other guys who do not speak elven don't understand you then you can choose a language of elven now anyone who doesn't speak elven they won't get the hello my name is Vanny message it'll say Vanny says something unintelligible you don't understand them so that's a good way of communicating in game we'll cancel there and undo last turns effects we'll talk about this now and that will end the video but this is very important too uh, say Bony Guy Red also has, while he's being surprised, he was also running. So, do the run macro, and we also do, um, oops, sorry. He's also squeezing at the same time, toggle squeeze mode. So he's got all kinds of effects on him now. He's got minus three to speed, and he's got CA, he's got, you name it, he's got running, all kinds of stuff. The DM says to the guy that is playing red, says, what are you doing? You can't do all that stuff. You have to, you have to, to take back some of that. You don't have enough actions to do all that. You don't have an action point stuff. So what do you do? All this stuff is on here right now you the dm can do the osp on him and do that remove effect from the mpv remember we talked about that but he can also say to this guy and when i'm dming this is what i usually say to my player who's done too much who's done damage or something he shouldn't have done or dazed a guy he shouldn't have dazed i say undo what is not valid there so this is also because it's so important it's also in your quick group so we can run undo last turns effects and we get this now this takes some explaining we hear the rewind sound effect there uh, as an audio clue that we're going to be rewinding stuff it'll list some a bunch of effects that have been put on here's the surprised that we did first there's the running and that changes Gen at mod. Remember, we learned in the All About Effects video how to interpret effect names. Running is the actual effect name. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Gen at mod is the property that's being affected. So, and we know it's all on Bony Guy Red for this targets part here on each line. They're separated by semicolons, each piece of information about the effect. 
So the DM says, uh, no, you can't squeeze. So take it, take off the squeezing. So we know squeeze mode is part of squeezing, but also moving at half speed, this last one, that's also part of it. So we're going to undo that. Say, okay. And that gets taken off. Half mood, uh, half move speed has ended, now ended. And same thing with squeeze mode. That has now ended as well. And it's been taken off that token. And that's how you use common free now. Thanks for watching.